Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's learn about the axillary group of lymph nodes. The axillary lymph nodes are scattered in the fibrofatty tissue of the axilla. Their number varies between 20 to 30. They are divided into following five groups. The first group, anterior or pectoral group. The second group is posterior or subscapular group. The third group is the lateral group, the fourth group is the central group and the fifth group apical or infraclavicular group. Now coming to the in-depth explanation, this muscle is the pectoralis minor muscle, this vein is the long or lateral thoracic vein. This vein is a subscapular vein. This muscle is the teres major. And this is the axillary vein that is the continuation of subclavian vein. It continues as the basilic vein. Now coming to the first group that is anterior or pectoral group of lymph nodes. These are the anterior or the pectoral group of lymph nodes. They lie along the lateral thoracic vein at the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle. They receive limb from the upper trunk and the anterior half of the breast. The tail of spence is in the direct contact with these lymph nodes. So the cancer involving the axillary tail of breast may be misdiagnosed as the enlarged lymph node. So this is the first group. Now coming to the second group, the posterior or subscapular group. So these are the posterior or the subscapular group. They lie on the posterior axillary fold along the subscapular vein. They receive limb from upper half of the trunk posteriorly from the axillary tail of the breast. This is the posterior and this is the anterior one. Now coming to the third variety that is the lateral group. These are the lateral group of lymph nodes. They lie along the upper part of the humerus in the relation to the axillary vein. They drain the lymph from the upper limb. Now coming to the central group. These lie most centrally. These are the central group. They are situated in the upper part of the axilla, they receive limb from the other groups and drain into the apical group. This is the apical group. The intercostal brachial nerve passes amongst these nerves. So, in the cancer of these nodes may cause the compression of the nerve causing the pain along the inner border of the arm. Now coming to the fifth variety that is apical or the infraclavicular group. These are the apical. They are situated deep to the clavipectoral fascia at the apex of the axilla along the axillary vein. They are of great clinical importance because these receive lymph directly from the upper part of the breast and indirectly from the central group of lymph nodes. They drain into the subclavian lymph trunk at the right side and into the thoracic duct on the left side. The axillary lymph nodes are also described in terms of levels. Level 1, level 2 and level 3. The level 1 is the bottom level that is the below the lower edge of the pectoralis minor muscle. The level 2 is underneath the pectoralis minor muscle that is posterior. The level 3 is above the pectoralis minor muscle. The lymph nodes that first receive lymph from the area of breast that are involved in the breast cancer are termed as sentinel lymph nodes. The sentinel lymph nodes are confirmed by injecting a radioactive substance into the affected area into the breast. Now coming to the clinical correlation, 
The axillary lymph nodes are mainly used for the palpation. The second one is the axillary abscess. And the third one to identify the boils in the axillary region. The palpation of the axillary lymph nodes is the part of clinical examination to the breast due to involvement of the breast cancer. The axillary abscess arises from the infection and suppuration of the axillary lymph nodes. The axillary abscess is given an incision into the floor of the axilla and drained. The boils in the axillary region are the small, swollen, painful red bumps that occurs due to the infection of the hair follicles and the sebaceous glands due to infection the boils are most common in the axillary region because of the abundant axillary hair so guys this is about the axillary group of lymph nodes this is most important in the clinical point of view if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.